Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 20th to the 21st. So this is like the real full moon, right? The full moon in Libra. It's a very intense energy. So here we go. Keep in mind that this reading may or may not be for you, and the timing can be a little bit fluid, but it is geared for the 20th to the 21st, you know, the full moon energy. So... Let's see what we have. I'm going to start with one of these this time. What do we got? It's all about love. <laughs> it's all about following your heart. Ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. You know, it's, it is a very sensitive, intense time. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Maybe you're going to need some help. One card flips, like I said, it, did I not say, I think, you know, we all know it did. It's all about love. The Ace of Cups. It's all about love. Emotional support. Emotional growth. This could be new love. Could be a reconciliation. Either way, it's all about love. Compassion. Intimacy, your dreams, you may, you may have had a dream last night or the night before that was very prominent. This is a new start in love for some. Oh God, son of a bitch. New start in love. I can't, you know, before I started this, I talked to my gods. I did. I can't, you know, I love you guys. I love my spirits and God and angels. This is new start in love. <laughs> I shock myself sometimes. I really do. You know, I say mark my words a lot to people when I get upset. It's not something you should take lightly. There is a new start in love. Somebody has to choose the direction that they want to go. There, there is. There's a choice here. What are you going to do? You have to make a choice. Which direction do you want to go? Somebody has, you know, a strain, a strainful, a stressful, painful decision as to... You know, do they want to go back? Do they want to go forward? Do they want to go left? Do they want to go right? Whatever the decision is, it's a difficult one. There's an opportunity for a fresh start, but somebody has to make a choice. Now, the two of wands is, you know... <laughs> It's that crossroads, right? It is. It's that crossroads. You know, what are you passionate about? Where does your passion lie? Somebody may have thought the grass was greener on the other side and now they want to go back or they're looking for greener grass or whatever the case is. Ooh, the time is now. Divine timing. Ah. 
Ooh, four of swords. Where's the other sword? Way over here. And this is like asking for help or giving somebody support. Somebody may be willing to make some compromises to support another individual. I don't know who that is for. Now this is healing and this is recuperation. So somebody may have gone through a period of, of healing and this is emotional support. So somebody may be offering emotional support to somebody in their time of need or they may be needing emotional support. Oh, with the full moon. You know, <laughs> there's been some sort of secret here in regards to somebody's true feelings. <laughs> there has. Something has been hidden. There's been some sort of... Something has been hidden underneath the surface and it's probably going to be brought to light. That's what it looks like to me. There's a fresh start happening with this full moon. It's probably going to be emotional and it's going to, but whatever this fresh start is, it is going to lead to love, okay? A lot of love. Healing. It's going to lead to healing and love. Absolutely. Somebody is heading towards a much happier, bright, uh, more emotionally fulfilling situation than where they've been, okay? Somebody is heading towards a healing, okay? These are both healing. Somebody is, is, is in the process of healing a very painful, stressful uh, situation, you know, decision. It's like whatever they've been stuck on, wherever they've been stuck, you know, and discontent, it's like it's now it's time to heal. It's time. I'm holding my heart, by the way. I feel like it's like it's the, the worst is over. The worst is over and... and now somebody is deciding to move forward. I'm, uh, they've made a decision or in the, in the process of making a decision to face their fears and step into the unknown because they know that once they do, it will get better, you know. It, it, it just feels like, oh God, I'm just, I'm literally pressing on my chest. It's like there's, it's been heavy. It's been really, really, really heavy. <clears throat> I think that Somebody who has been waiting, they've been waiting for somebody to make a decision, they've been waiting for help to arrive, they've been waiting for communication, they've been waiting for love, whatever it is that they've been waiting for, it's coming. It's like it's coming. The time is the time is now. What you the happiness that you have been waiting for is coming. Okay, we have extreme bliss with the Ace of Cups and the Sun card. Somebody is headed to a much brighter place, coming out of the darkness. What has been hidden is being brought to light. I 
I feel like the decision is being made. to move forward and stop staying in this unhappy place that they've been in. Somebody has been in an unhappy place where there was just no fulfillment, right? There's no fulfillment. There was no comfort there. It's like, I don't even want to be here anymore. Yeah, somebody was in a place where they just didn't want to be. And it's like, now, it's time to let go and take my power and head to the place that's going to make me happy. So I feel like somebody is about to take a risk and follow their heart. And step into the unknown. I think that this person that is taking the step <clears throat> has been having a hard time communicating. This person has been um, really, really thinking about really really thinking about the poor decisions that they have made in the past this person has been thinking about the deception they've been thinking about the lies and they've been waiting for the right time to make their move I feel as though somebody has been blocking their emotions for quite some time. But all the while they were blocking their emotions, they were going through a period of transition at the same time. I feel like they were getting prepared. They were getting prepared to make their move. But for some reason, they just couldn't do it because of fear, because of fear. Fear is here. Fear is here. <laughs> and it's like now somebody's ready to take that risk and follow their heart. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready to heal. They're ready to heal the situation. They're ready to heal themselves. I feel like we have somebody that just wants to bring balance back. Things have been unbalanced. They may have um, gone through some sort of spiritual renewal through solitude. And now it's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for this happiness. I'm ready for this growth. I'm ready for this renewal. I'm ready for this new beginning, right? So I really feel like we have somebody that is about to start over in love. And they may be asking for your assistance. They may be asking for your help. Or they may be asking for you to forgive them even. So I feel like we have somebody here. I mean, with a temperance card, somebody may have changed. Somebody may have evolved. And now they just want their happiness back. You know, I'm not the same person I used to be. And I just want my happiness back. So I feel like we have somebody that may have decided that it's time. It's time to come out of this hiding. It's time to come out of my um, solitude and go after love. So I feel like... Somebody's about to choose. They're about to choose. Let's get some more cards. It's stepping out of the darkness, really, it is. Stepping out of fear. <clears throat> Communication has been an issue for sure. For sure. 
and, and communication issues here, but it's like now somebody's ready. They're ready. It's like what you have been waiting for is finally arriving. Oh my God. Stepping, stepping into the a whole new life here. One chapter is over and somebody is starting a whole new a whole new life. Major new beginning. Somebody has learned a big lesson through solitude and, and making poor decisions in the past. My ear is ringing. This is a major completion. I mean... From the fool to the world, somebody has learned a huge, huge, huge lesson. They have. One of the lessons was patience. <laughs> was patience. Um, one of them was acting impulsively. One of them was engaging themselves in situations that don't make them happy. Not following their heart. Anyway, somebody has learned a major lesson here and now they're ready to start over. The devil. Reverse, this is taking back control, restoring control, breaking free. Somebody is breaking free from fear. The devil brings in fear. It's like, I am not going to let this hold me back anymore. Now, the devil is ruled by the shadow side, and so isn't the moon. The moon is upright. That's where they've been. Somebody has been living in their fear, living in illusion, being confused. And it's like, no, I'm not. I'm taking back my power. So we have somebody here that is standing in their own power and facing their fears about starting over. Absolutely. Freedom. Freedom. It's like they're breaking free from their, their own de uh, demons, you know? Ten of Cups, reversed. The storm is over. Somebody is, is letting go of an unfulfilling situation in search for extreme happiness. That's the truth here. Somebody is deciding to face their fears and follow their heart. So congratulations if this is you or if this is the person you've been waiting for. Because it looks like somebody has been waiting for a new beginning. Somebody has been getting prepared, waiting patiently, and here it comes. So it looks to me like we have... A fresh new start in love that could lead to a lot of success with that world card. A lot of happiness. And it's like, it's, it's time. It's time. It's time. Whoever you're dealing with has been through a period of healing for sure. For sure. And now they just can't stay there anymore. It's like, I can't, I'm not happy. I know I'm not happy here. It's time for me to go after what I want. I have to go after what I want. So I feel like we have somebody that is making a decision right now to take back their own power and travel to a new destination that is much happier than where they've been. So yeah, I feel like there's definitely 
I think there's going to be a, a reveal here, you know, some sort of revelation, some sort of truth that is going to be, that is going to come out. That's what I see. That's what I feel. I feel like there is some sort of uh, <laughs> awakening, perhaps. You know, somebody just decides, I'm done waiting. I'm following my heart. I'm done waiting. I'm done waiting. I'm out of here. I'm going, going for it. I'm going for it. Um, <clears throat> it's like we have a rebirth. We do. We have a rebirth. With the temperance card and the sun card, we have a, we do. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Go ahead. Follow your heart. And that's what this is about. Somebody is going to be expressing their love after hiding their true feelings underneath the surface. Okay? This is hiding your true feelings underneath the surface. Here we go. So, yeah, there's going to be an expression of love. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. Don't shut this person down instantly. They may be coming to help you. They may be they may have been offering you emotional support and all of a sudden it has turned to love. Who knows what this is? Maybe, maybe somebody chose the wrong option, chose something, made a poor decision because their soulmate didn't fit their usual quota, whatever. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. This is a very positive connection think positive. I really feel as though there is going to be some sort of movement, some sort of communication where love is expressed. And it is something that has been hidden. Somebody has been hiding their true feelings under the surface and here it comes. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you will experience more love in the present moments. So this is about healing, like I said. Maybe you're being called to keep an open mind. Maybe, maybe forgiveness is needed. We talked about learning a lesson. Somebody has learned a lesson. Maybe forgiveness is the lesson. I don't know. There's an opportunity to start fresh in love if somebody may be expressing their true feelings. They may be asking for forgiveness. Maybe you will need to forgive. Definitely somebody is moving in a new direction and they're leaving the past behind. So, it looks great. It does. Um, I want to get one more card. Let's get one of these. This is soulmate connection coming, okay? Because your soulmate may differ. This is a soul. A soulmate is headed in your direction, or you are headed towards a soulmate. Somebody is headed towards a soulmate, and they've been really thinking about it. You, it's like you know this person, okay? Because there's a lot of uh, thinking and waiting for the right time. So I think it is somebody that you know, and these two people are probably waiting for each other and it feels as though there's an opportunity to heal together there's an opportunity to come together with compromising okay compromising is needed and forgiving somebody's about to take a big 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 risk and when they do it does lead to some a successful 
endeavor. It really does. And it's going to happen with the full moon. Somebody is deciding to step into their fear, step into the unknown. There is no doubt about it. Somebody is starting a whole new life. A new chapter. Starting from scratch. Go ahead. Don't let fears hold you back because this is a true love connection. It is. I don't know who this is for. <laughs> yeah. And that's where they've been. That's where they've been. Miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Solitude. So in solitude. Make sure my camera's not going to die. In silence, peace prevails. In silence, you'll find a depth of self-awareness as well as inner peace. This is not a time to venture forth with, with a new project or a new cycle. That's where they've been. This person has been going through a period of introspection to find peace within themselves so that they could be prepared for this soulmate connection that they probably already felt whoever this is for. This is the time to step back and be still. In quietude, you can seek and uncover your deepest inner truth. Seek solitude and all will be revealed. That's funny. I said there's going to be a reveal. Your power is born in stillness. Sometimes the traveler is in such a hurry to reach the next peak that he gets separated from his spiritual source However, when the traveler takes time alone, everything falls into perspective. And that is where they've been. And this is what is coming. A miracle. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Just around the bend, a miracle is waiting to happen. Release fear and uncertainty. And majestic wonders wait to unfold for you. Watch for them and embrace them. Some come in an unlikely form. Trust that all is unfolding for your highest good. Expect miracles in your life. What is expected tends to be realized. The more you become aware of the small marvels in your life, the more they will grow in magnitude. Celebrate and cherish them when they appear, no matter how small they may seem. What others see as ordinary, the sacred traveler sees as wondrous. Look at your life in a new way. Let go of fear and expectations and allow the creator to solve your challenges in mysterious and wondrous ways. Don't limit the way you think miracles can appear in your life. All is well. We have an unexpected miracle coming in after somebody has been through a period of solitude. It's like the time is now to express your love. Forgiveness may be needed with this forgiveness card. Be prepared for some sort of miracle to come out of this. It may be disguised. Good luck. 